Hi everyone, welcome to my nookery. My name is Linda and today we're on podcast 82. So guys, I've got quite a few whips. I've got no finished projects to share with you today, but I've got two, I've got five, is it five? No, six whips to share with you. Um, I've had um, a busy week. Um, both my parents are okay and um, Rick and I are plodding along as usual just enjoying life and enjoying being together really and enjoying our time at home um, first thing the um, new July giveaway starts on um let's see hold on first second i think it's the 5th of july so keep your eye out for that video the new giveaway for july and then on saturday which is tomorrow we've got the yarny fiber sisters and we're on at uh, midnight here in the uk and i think it's seven p.m. central no 7 p.m. eastern yeah 7 p.m. eastern so if you can join v genie and myself for the yarny fiber sisters on saturday that would be amazing and um, i had a brilliant live yesterday and um it was just um just amazing guys I, I can't thank you enough for coming to the lives i have so much fun and i'll get a chance to connect with you all and i really really do enjoy it so First off, let me show you my mosaic blankets that I'm working on for the challenges. Uh, I've only got four more months left to do um, the patterns. Um, and then um, I'll be do spending the November and the December doing the, um, the borders, you know, the envelope border for them. So I wanted to give myself at least a couple of months to do that because as you can see, it's not the biggest blanket and it's not a smallest blanket, but this one is the Casablanca by Tina, Tina Thor, daughter. Anyway, I will show you. So this is, uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite big now. It's, it's quite big, and I really like in this. So this yarn I purchased using the money from all of you, my lovely subscribers. So this is my YouTube hug blanket. Uh, I just love the pattern. Um. Everybody said, oh, you'll be addicted, you'll get addicted. I'm not, guys. I'm not a blanket guy. I, but I have, I must say, I have enjoyed making this blanket. Um, so, yeah, so that's the Casablanca I want to share with you. The next one, this is my favourite. It's the Queen Cal, and I'm doing a small one. And it's going to be replace this blanket um, next year. And this is it. I've done I've done raspberry with a grey with a fleck in it um, and it looks like little blossoms and that's what I've done so far this is going to be a smaller blanket so this shouldn't take me long to do the envelope um border around but I really like this this is this is my favorite guys I must admit this is my favorite one to do so that's the two blankets I'm keeping up to up to par with the um with the challenges so that's that one um next thing I don't know if you remember my um crocheted granny shrug uh, no it was a granny poncho that I made into a shrug well I'm going to do it make a tunic with it the same I'm doing eight granny squares across the back any eight across the front doing four rows of granny stitch and then I'm going to join them together and then I'm just going to go down to make a nice tunic to wear in the winter with my black leggings and I can wear a, a, 
a sweater underneath and that so the yarn I'm using this yarn my super magenta V Veronica from Steals the Show Crochet and Chef took me shopping to Michael's when these first came out and it's a cotton ripple cake and this is um, summer rain and I've started doing the, the granny squares and I'm attaching them as I go so this will, this I've done one half so I've got another four to do the other half and then I'll um, and I'm going to do a, tu a tutorial for this as well and to do the rest of the, the tunic I'm using this and it's the same, uh, the cotton ripple cake, and it is, um, I should tell you the specs really, shouldn't I? 240 grams, uh, it's a lightweight three, but it's a roving, a roving three, at, and this is clear view. And I really like, I really like how it, um, how it's working up nice to work with i love the color change and then that that'll go that color will, will work down the tunic so and i've got two of them so i've got plenty and i think i've got plenty to get 16 granny squares out of this um but i've got the tutorial to do for that so that's that one that's whip number three whip number four is um, a granny wrap so what I've done guys I've made a diamond using four granny squares and then the arms of the um, wrap it are going to come out at the two toppermost of the diamond so here and here and I'm using the dog leaf it's called the dog leaf pattern let me just see if I can find the book the book the book I can't find the book. It's back from. I can't find the book, guys. Holy moly, where is it? It's by Sarah Hazel. I had it before. What the heck have I done with the book now? Oh well. I seem to have misplaced it. It's somewhere. I bet I've, oh here it is, I've got it, I've got it, same with the knitting books, this is the book that I, I've got this stitch from, it's, um, where is it, can't even find it now, oh there it is, so it's, it's called the Dockley, and it's by this, in, from this book by Sarah Hazel, so that is what, I've used and because I decided to do that stitch because as you can see it's here in the actual granny square well it's not a granny square but it's in the square so I thought it would look it it would match up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um when it's when I've done both arms and then going to go round it with a fan or a shell so yeah so that's another one and I'm using ice ice yarn if I can find it here it is I'm using this stick it there we are I'm using white obviously and it is um linen 50% linen 50% viscose um 50 grams and it's a two weight so that's what I'm doing that's another whip so that's whip number four I've got whip number five is a project that I'm working for, secret project for the Yarny Fiber Sisters for next year and I can't show you that yet. So that'll be all come to light at the end of this year at the Yarny Fiber Sisters. The next one I want to share with you is Ivy B Creates and Jen Reeves of... Um, designed this top it's called wild and free and um, yeah so I've um, done the top part and I've um, I'm starting on the body now of because uh, I've divided for the sleeves and I'm 
work it going I've started working on the body so that is looking really nice this is a two weight and it's from Bramblewood Bramblewood yarns are based here in my hometown of Warrington and um, as you can see and I'm just going to work this top now until I use all this yarn so it should be nice it should be really nice in fact if it's quite long it might I might be able to wear it with my leggings with kind of maybe um a long sleeve sweater over it in the winter so yeah so that's that's that really nice i'm loving the color changes and i do like bramble wood yarn it's beautiful so that's number hold on one two three one two three four five is the secret this is number six whip number seven is i've made a start on this knitting project the lacy eight pattern by valentina bogdanova and i am using twister and it's 50 55% cotton, 45% acrylic, and it is a two weight, and it's 437 yards, uh, 400 meters, and uh, this color is 133. And I, <coughs> if I can find it, I've got it somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? So there it is I hope you can see it so it's um, done in the round so this is the neck part and that'll sit really nice so um, yeah so I'm on the first chart and the best thing about this pattern as well guys if you don't read charts it, there is the written pattern written pattern as well so that is all my whips for the moment. I've got another couple of whips. I've um, not got another three whips. So I've got one, two, three that I've just started and it's not worth me showing you yet. So I hope you have a fabulous uh, weekend, whatever you have planned. I hope you join V, Jeannie and myself. We're in the UK on Saturday for the Arnie Fibre Sisters. I do know that it's Independence Weekend for all my American friends. So I hope you have a, a fabulous time, whatever you've got planned. And that's all from me for today. Take care, stay safe. But more importantly, guys, as I always say, be kind to you. And until the next video, bye-bye for now.